disappointing uh, result obviously, didn't deserve to lose the game. Um, the two goals are absolute sucker punches, two awful goals I'd say. One goes in, haven't dealt with a, a long ball, lost a bit of calmness, they score soon after off a set piece. Which is what we always say, our point of difference, 2-0 down and we wasted the last 10-15 minutes of the first half because we lost calm, we got emotional. Um, Said to them, spoke to them at half time, reset button, uh, play with more patience, play with more calm. It wasn't the score to get back in the game, it was the score to win the game. And I thought in another night you might do that. Um, so, yeah, really disappointed. Um, I thought we lost our calmness again after we did get the, the one goal back. Um, they'll tie to that, 10 games in, brilliant start to the season, and we'll reset, give them the weekend off, freshen up, and we go Monday. First 15 minutes is a blistering start. I suppose it switches then when they kill momentum by the keeper going down injured. Oh, listen, that's a, a tactic, I'd say, uh, regularly used around the league. Um, it's obviously uh, always the goalkeeper. What can you do about it? Nothing. Um, so here, fine, the same for both teams. They can speak to their players, we can speak to ours. Fine, they did it. 30 minutes, I thought we were the better team. I was looking at the team, the performance, and I thought, bloody hell. A lovely team, a team that we can all be proud of, myself, the staff, the fans, and then two sucker punches. Is and it easier uh, easier to reconcile a defeat when it is like that sucker punches? I guess so, and like I said, I'm very proud of the guys. Um, final third stuff here, they're throwing bodies on the line, etc. Still think we had chances to, to get that equaliser and um, go on to win the game, but I said the, the equaliser never came and uh, we'll just have to brush ourselves down and go again. What are the elements you'd, you'd like to see improvements? Like, it's hard to kind of be too critical given how strong the start has been to the season. Uh, here, it's an awful goal to, uh, to give away the first one, like I said, second. Especially Friday, going into next Friday, Galway. You know the barrage, the set pieces are coming. It's the point of difference, um, obviously around the world, but in this league as well, um, it's a set piece that's We've been done with before, let's say, uh, by Anil Reynolds when he was at uh, Derry. So here, not happy with that. But like I said, the guys, they're big boys, they know themselves, um, and we'll move on. It's been a kind of a long, hard slog to get to this point in terms of injuries, but you've, on the most part, kept everyone fit. Probably caught up with you a little bit tonight with, with Paddy and Mark going off. Uh, Mark, yeah, just felt something in his... Uh, the back of his leg, his hamstring, Paddy's just a bruised foot so I'm sure he'll be fine but here it's a squad game and like I said, um, guys that don't start, they cannot feel sorry for themselves, they can't play the victim card, I've told them, I've told them many times, uh, they need to perform when they come on the pitch where it'll be 5 minutes, 10, 15, 20, okay you do well there then you're starting next week, football is very simple, so like I said a lot of brilliant performers throughout the first ten, 10 games but I want more from the squad now you know this is a squad game and uh, we do need more. In terms of the goal we scored obviously we, we claw our way back into the game through a penalty and have a, a real chance to, to get a second in very quick succession are you happy obviously with battling back but maybe just not being clinical enough to keep the foot on the neck when we had that bit of momentum? Yeah happy it's I guess that's Word that I've been hammering home with this week, Dublin Derby, uh, simplicity, simplicity, simplicity. And when you get too emotional and you lose your calm, simplicity goes out of your game. But you go, you look at all the football around the league this weekend, are the best teams in the world play the most simple football. Um, and I think, listen, we did lose that at times tonight, but when we did get a foothold back in the game, it's because we played simple football, played with tempo and played with the quality. Um, yeah, we didn't deserve to, to lose the game. But we just have to take it on the chin. It's a hard one. You see with the results around the league tonight, like you've talked about how hard it is to actually win a game in this league, to only have one defeat. You know, it's probably hard to reflect on right in the immediate aftermath, but it is a, a phenomenal start, all things considered. Yeah, it's a brilliant start and uh, we'll keep playing on. Um, we'll keep staying humble, we'll keep staying respectful, we'll keep working hard. And for over two years, I've always said the guys are good at brushing off uh, a bad result um, by how they come in on a Monday morning I expect the same next week yeah we haven't talked about that in a while but generally after a flat performance a performance that didn't hit the levels you'd like it's always followed up with a bit of a barnstormer is that something to take encouragement from yeah listen I don't think there was a, a flatness about us um, so I'm 
I'm really happy, I'm really proud of the guys. Um, moments, set pieces, little things, and soon lead to big things. So uh, yeah, it's so difficult to win a game in this league. Uh, we haven't done tonight. We'll take our medicine and we move on. A packed ground, obviously it's the first time we've spoken to you since the news broke about Galway. Can you work that to your advantage, that bit of a siege mentality? It'll be shells against the world in Galway next week. Um, yeah, absolutely. Uh, you can easily turn negative into a positive. Um, so yeah, as much as we'll, we'll miss our fans, we'll go there, it's us against the world, and uh, expect a, a positive result from the guys. What was the mood like in the dressing room? Because you've talked about, you know, when we win games against like Bows or Rovers, maybe last year we would have went on a party. It's the first time this group has had to experience that loss. How different was that mood? Um, I listen, they're hurting. I know they're hurting. It's yeah, it's probably the, the number one derby that the lads look for and their fans, it could be wrong, so real edge to it, massive disappointment. You're allowed to be disappointed in life as well. Um, so yeah, be disappointed Saturday, Sunday and come in Monday um, and work hard with a smile. Thanks Damien. Cheers Darren.